very, very sad and horrific story. 13 year old was assaulted, sexually abused by police. Not one, not two, not three, but four that we know of on record. She took her own life later as an adult. I'm going to expose every single one of these cops. Let's put up the first pictures. Stroughton police now are conducting an internal affairs investigation into three former police officers. It has been uncovered that they engage in what has been described, and I quote, as a deeply disturbing pattern of behavior toward a young woman who took her own life. Officer Matthew G. Farwell, Farwell's twin brother to the right, William Farwell, and their former supervisor to the left, Officer Robert C. Devine, all allegedly, all allegedly, violated department rules and regulations through their conduct with a 23-year-old woman. All had resigned from the department before the outcome of the investigation. I'm going to give you significant background to this. Sandra Birchmore, 23, of Canton, took her own life last year while pregnant with her first child. She told friends the father of the child was Officer Matthew G. Farwell, 36 years of age, whom she met when she was 13 and a member of the department's Youth Explorers Program. Now, if this sounds familiar to you, I have reported on two other instances in America where police officers took advantage of children who were part of their department's Youth Explorers Program. Now we have number three. There's a problem in the culture. I guarantee you there are more than the three that I've covered here on Indisputable. Let me give you more background on this abuse. Birchmore's friend told The Globe earlier this year that Birchmore and Matthew Farwell, the cop, began a sexual relationship when she was 15, below the age of consent. According to the police chief, Mick Namara, evidence from the internal probe demonstrates Matthew Farwell allegedly began an inappropriate relationship with Birchmore when she was 15 and he was 27. There's more. Investigators allegedly found many digital messages containing explicit exchanges between the two over several years. Matthew Farwell allegedly went to Birchmore's apartment on February 1st. This was in 2021, days before she was found dead. To end their relationship and got into what he later described as a pretty nasty argument, Mick Namara said. Matthew Farwell acknowledged he had sex with her in 2020, but the sexual part of their relationship ended in October that year, according to The Globe. The chief describes Divine's involvement. Divine was part of an after school program at the middle school where he and other officers were in charge of several students without supervision from members of the school district. The investigation determined that Divine had inappropriate contact with female students in that program. Following the conclusion of the investigation, it says this, Mick Namara has already been notified, has already notified the newly formed Massachusetts Peace Officer Standards and Training Commission, that's called POST, of the reports, findings, and has recommended without delay that Farwell Brothers and Divine Certification to serve as police officers be permanently revoked, she said. Mick Namara recommended to post that all three men be placed on a national decertification database to ensure that they can never serve in law enforcement anywhere else, she said. Chief, <clears throat> I'm going to say this, and I hope somebody sends this directly to you. What's the recommendation to lock their asses up? Right. Where's that recommendation? Decertify? Not allow them to be a cop again? They committed rape. That's what happened here. And molestation. You're doing 
us no favor in the community. You're not doing this child, this young person a favor, 23 years of old, where this started when she was a child and now she has taken her own life. This is why people don't like the police. I'm telling you, you had an opportunity and you still have one chief to do the right thing, take it all the way. I guarantee you, if this young person would have had this happen to her by way of, let's say, let's say, Pyro gangsters, you would have held a press conference. You would have said, we're going to prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. You would have engaged your justice partners in that local jurisdiction, and you would have rained hell upon those gangsters. But what about the gangsters in uniform, madam? Chief, what about the gangsters that serve in the police department? We're going to continue to follow this story as of the reporting today. There are no criminal charges against any of these cops who violated public trust, who violated this young lady that led ultimately to her taking her own life. Not one damn criminal charge yet, but we're going to change that. All right, Ricky, thoughts on this? For me, uh, Dr. Richie, is just the culture of policing uh, taking up for each other even when they're wrong. Uh, you know, I, it, it makes me wonder, do any anybody in that particular police department have daughters mm. or sisters or whatever, you know, in, in the fact that you can't go out here and get a grown woman, you have to resort into molesting and putting your hands on a child, you yeah. know, and if, if somebody trusts you enough with the child, uh, with their children, uh, and you're supposed to be doing community service or whatever, you know, at, at what point that you become attracted to somebody 13? Mm. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old, for, yeah. for me, not even in your 20s, you know, it's, it's, it's sad and they should be in jail, yeah. you know, and they always getting reassigned or uh, desk duty or uh, get, you know, or whatever, but they never get prosecuted and go to jail. And at, at some point, when will the police start to arrest the police? The mm -hmm. men uh, that's operating in integrity in policing need to start speaking up and standing up uh, uh, for people out here that's being victimized. And the fact that that little, that precious baby, uh, rest in peace to Sandra Birchmore, uh, took her own life, they should do the rest of their life in prison. And yeah. that's sad. And, um, and I, 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 my heart goes out to the family. Yeah, same here. Well said, Ricky.